For the past few months, Indiana lawmakers have been debating this very issue. They came this close to legalizing hemp in Indiana with bipartisan support before Governor Holcomb put the brakes on the whole thing. He told 13 Investigates Indiana is not yet ready for industrial hemp. Just to say, we're going to go do it, easier said than done. I do think we can get there, but we're going to have to answer some questions. One of those questions, is industrial hemp legal under federal law? This morning in Kentucky, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said he's about to introduce a federal bill to answer that question once and for all. What will it do? First and foremost, this bill will finally legalize hemp, legalize hemp as an agricultural commodity and remove it from the list of controlled substances. That would allow Indiana and other states to enter a booming hemp industry that will soon top $2 billion a year. Indiana farmers say they want to grow hemp and business leaders say they want to manufacture with it. Other states, they're way ahead. While Indiana will grow six acres of hemp in a pilot program this year, Kentucky will grow 12,000 acres of industrial hemp, putting hundreds of people to work, not waiting for federal lawmakers to pass a bill. It's important to point out industrial hemp is not marijuana. Same plant, but marijuana has high levels of THC that can make you high. Industrial hemp does not. Despite the difference, the legal status of industrial hemp is very much uncertain. Next week, Senator McConnell plans to introduce his bill in Washington that could change that.